America is the land of the Chaldees, Chaldeans, the Babylonians. These are all ancient world terms for the nation that God would eventually judge in Revelation 18, and that is us. God says he's going to strike where we're most vulnerable, where we're most weak. Um, and that would be definitely the San Andreas fault line. Please understand that God says that when massive earthquakes like this one that is coming hits that fault line, that it's going to trigger responses in, I think it's the Sierra Madre. That's one earthquake zone, but also all the way up to the New Madrid. And then people will say, and I said it in one of the prophecies from last year, it's one, it's either the level 10 or the North American. It's one of those specifically dealing with this event. Yah said that people will say when they hear it, oh no, that's typical, that's like impossible. And that's because the New Madrid is all the way on here on this side of the country, all the way here on this side here, the east side. It's that far away from the San Andreas, which is all the way over there on the west. And so they will say, oh no, that's, you know, like that's technically impossible. They're so far apart. And then what I'm going to say to you is, when did you stop being a badger and become a human being? Or perhaps when did you stop being a woodchuck? When did you stop being a groundhog or ground chipmunk or mole or vole? When did you start being one of the animals that lives under the ground and they're therefore has a better understanding of what it looks like under the ground. Because one of the things that God was showing me here in America is he was saying, observe how much the land has been eaten away because of their sins. And what I found myself looking at is, uh, if you're listening by audio, you're going to have to use your mind's eye. But if you're watching, I'll show it to you. What I saw is this. Here is the top of the ground, the part where we walk, right? So this is us in our Timberland boots walking along up here. And then I saw about maybe, I would call it, maybe four feet, four feet, five feet tops of actual soil. So if you were to drill two down and put your vegetables and whatever, fine. If a farmer goes three down, even four and put in his corn and whatever, that's fine. You could even put in a baby tree at three feet. It's fine. You would never know that after the fifth, there was something almost like Gothic cathedrals under the ground of America. There's nothing there. Literally, God says that the sin, can you imagine earthly forces responding to spiritual activity? He was showing me. So it's top here, the top of the ground, about four to five feet of ground. And then below the four to five feet, huge curved caverns like that of nothing. Looking exactly like the arches they have in these fancy churches. Just a big arch, some ground like this. Like a, like a stalactite or a stalagmite, whatever they call it, and then another arch. Nothing. The minute that the ground is done like this, everything, you will just see the road going like this and pointing into a hundred foot drop of nada, nothing, zero. Cars there, forget jaws of life. Forget them. Their strings probably only go to 20 feet. We're saying 100 feet into the void. Into that internal world that is there. With a flower that is taller than your head. You go now to meet all the bedfellows that live inside the core of the earth. That they told you, oh no, there's magma and there's lava. And there's, not, there's people down there. There's a world, there's, there's living things down there. The man called, what's his name? Lord, this man who flies the planes, Admiral, is it Admiral Byrd? Admiral Byrd, Admiral Boyd, I think it's Byrd. The man who flew, who saw the poles, the man who, who said that there were things inside. And then of course, America took his notebook and said, shush, shush. At least they weren't just smoking people in the old days. They actually had integrity. They just asked him, can you please stop publishing? Can you please stop talking about the things that you saw? Then you go down there ahead of time, ahead of everyone else, right? Ahead of them wanting to come outside. You go now to be friends. This is if you survive the drop because the ground is gone. And God is saying that there are sinkholes under many nations. Many countries are going to suffer from sinkholes, right? Plunging into the void. Sometimes it will be like this because you know what? Tarmac can be a mercy because tarmac is made of tar ultimately. It's sticky. And so it's it may not all let go, but in some places the sinkhole will just be 
50 feet across, it will literally be a whole chunk that just disintegrates, plunging in. Everything on that, on that section is going down with it. Everything going in. Many countries experiencing massive sinkholes, medium sinkholes, even a personal sinkhole. I saw a personal sinkhole take a mailman um, on video ones. He was coming up to the house to deliver the mail. And as he was about to step on the front porch, the entire front porch just literally separated. The step, everything went in and that poor man plunged in with it. And this can happen on an ordinary Tuesday to a person who was just carrying out his USPS duties. 